Hello and welcome back. If you'd watched the other videos, if you've seen the other videos, um, the last um, part left off where we basically had the site um, pretty much a template site up and ready to go, but we didn't have any keywords on the pages and we didn't have it registered. So even though you got this uh, website loaded up on GoDaddy server, nobody's going to be able to find it. So uh, so what we hope to do is go through the keywords and uh, how to put those onto the pages and then show you actually how to register your site uh, with a couple major search engines. Uh, to get started, I, I wanted to show you one site here. Um, I really have a, I do have a, an affiliation with this site, but um, I don't get any, I don't get any money unless you linked to the site through me, and I'm not, I'm not asking that you do that. Um, but this site here, uh, selfpromotion.com, it's actually, you know, a lot of people may not like the way that it, it's laid out, but it's this guy really has a lot of good information on um, how to get your website out there on the search engines and how to get you up in the rankings. And if you just go to this website, it's completely free, and just read through everything that he's got. You know, he he's got a lot of good information. Uh, one of the things that I would um, recommend down here is under tutorials that he has. Um, he says preparing your site. He goes into um, how to get key phrases and keywords. So I'm not going to go into that. He does a nice job here. But basically, if you don't know which keywords to use on your pages in your website, you can come here and he can kind of walk you through how to determine what a good phrase is and what are keywords to use that you can use. And he talks about the title tags. And um, this is all in Expression Web, too, by the way. We're going to be moving right into this. But as far as what to actually put, the words to actually use, um, there's some art to that and um, some science, I suppose, too. And um, you can basically get all your answers to your questions right here on this one website at um, selfpromotion.com. So anyway, once you have your keywords and your titles all figured out, then uh, you we're going to go into Expression Web now. The last site we left off of, um, you know, we go into Open Site, and it was my test site was the website we were working on. And um, one of the things we did is we we really didn't um, prepare, put any keywords, or really get into titling the pages or anything too much. So I'm going to just show you briefly how that's done on a couple pages. Uh, we're going to go to the home page here, which is the default HTML. This is in the code view now, so that's really not that helpful. So um, I recommended the split view as a good way to learn what's going on because you can see the kind of get the best of uh, both worlds there. And I usually have like 75% of the design view and then just a little bit in the code view. Once you're on their page, we're on the home page here in default, you right click and it brings up page properties. Now for each, this is an eight page website, remember, and so this is just the home page we're working on. But when you go into this, it's kind of nice because uh, Expression Web has made it to where all you got to do is enter the the word. It was supposed to be my own personal website, but the title you could call home page, and it's uh, I could say all about me, and then um, the page description is you know this page is all about me. Everything you ever wanted to know. And like I said, the content you would actually put in here is based on your specific website. And then uh, the keywords are whatever, you know, if your name's Joe Smith, you say Joe Smith. And um, Smith, I suppose, and Joe. And um, about me and uh, everything you wanted to know about Joe Smith and um, anything else you can think of. And that's where you enter it. And this is what you do to get your site indexed and found by the, when the search engines search, I mean, they use a lot of other factors, but they'll look for these keywords and they'll find them here. So when you go, okay, Expression Web automatically embeds those into the, the, the header portion of your code. So I'll show you where that is up here. Uh, all that stuff we just entered, see, 
there's the title and you didn't have to go into the the code to do it. it you just go into the that interface that I just showed you and um, here's all the stuff we entered so now this site now what you do is you go through and do that for every page you have so you've got an about page let's take a look at that this is about um, and here's a blog page okay so here is a blog page so whatever is uh, you do the same thing you would you would right click and on page properties and it takes you right into here well this is from before it says calendar for events but we're going to change that so this is blog and uh, this is Joe Smith's blog and then again you know blog uh, Joe Smith you know whatever words would be appropriate based on your your content is what goes in here and then when you click OK it's automatically put into the code in the title section right where it should be in the header section all that stuff you entered um, it's all right there in the code and then you save it and then when you go to um, republish your website um, all that information is stored and uh, the your website will then be easier to find uh, or indexed by the search engines so that's it's fairly straightforward that process of it uh, I think the most of the time is actually spent in just coming up with good keywords now once you've got your website done now we've got this website completed so here we are we've basically taken you all the way through mocking up a website and now the pages have keywords and titles in them you can now submit it uh, when you get it to where you want it you can submit it now to the search engine so I thought I would take you through that process and uh, I'm not going to take you through every single search engine I, I think the two main ones are probably Google and Yahoo so I'll show you where you go to do that it's, it's a little tricky to me it's not like they put it right out there um, but you would go to the Google main page and you actually you don't go to more you go to um, about Google see and then here you go uh, for site owners and right here where it says submit your content to Google you click there and then you see how, here's how to get started submit a URL and here's where you just follow these instructions you enter your your domain name just as you have it enter here and um, and then of course you know you've got this captcha thing you've got to enter and then you add your, uh, your URL you click that button the one thing I can say as far as it goes with Google is don't resubmit your um, site more than once you know once you submit it once you know if it's a good site and it's got good content Google will index it and uh, and sometimes even if it's not a very good website Google will index it but um, but uh, I would say you know only submit it once I think if you submit it uh, more than a couple times they get actually irritated with you and might actually de-index it for all I know but just submit it once eventually it'll show up and then in a week or so in a few days go back and check and it should be it should be showing up now for Yahoo it's about the same thing let's go to Yahoo once you get on uh, index with Yahoo and and Google you'll start being picked up by the other search engines it seems so here for Yahoo here's where I was confused you go to more under Yahoo and um, and then down here on the bottom see how they kind of have this stuff buried it says submit your site you click there and then here of course submit your site for free I I would never recommend paying to have your website indexed uh, and then here's your submit your website and it's pretty similar to Google you just enter it and you click submit and hopefully you're off to the races and hopefully within like a week or two it should uh, it should show up that's basically it uh, for now uh, there's a lot to it I, I think just be patient and learn as you go and I hope that's helpful thank you very much